everyone, and thanks for stopping by for part three of Darnet Education. Today we're going to talk about antivirus. Now what is antivirus? To make it in brief, the antivirus is an application that sits on your computer which monitors different processes coming to and from your computer. So it won't uh, allow you to open up a particular attachment if it deems it unsafe to open. Now one crucial part I want to talk about today especially is about free antivirus software. A lot of you have this misconception about free antivirus software, the fact that it's going to protect you from literally everything. And again, we can't sit here and say that every single piece of software will protect you through 100% of threats. That's just unheard of. But particularly with free software is the piece of free antivirus software only gives you a portion of effectiveness when it comes to the actual application. Because if you look at it, why would a company that employs hundreds if not thousands of people across the globe give you a very uh, thorough application for free. It's just unheard of. What they do is they give you these free versions just to test it out, to play around with it, see how the alerts work, see how the application works, and if you like it, you would go on and pay for the free version. But I see a lot of people out there who just consistently run with free software just because they don't want to pay the 25 bucks and install it on the computer. Now, for businesses, you're looking at upwards of $250 to $400 a year on protection software, but it's literally a small price to pay as opposed to if your complete network gets hit by a ransomware virus or an email attachment that uh, Susan opened up that infected the entire network. Example I have with a past client of mine. But it's the essential no knowledge, the fact that you must understand that you have to pay for antivirus applications in order to get the full protection of the software. A lot of people run their computers today off free software and they don't get protected for that exact reason. So it isn't necessarily the vendor's fault, it is the fact that your understanding of how free antivirus software works isn't well known. So again, if you're running a business, if you have computers at home you'd like to protect, just go out to a store or online and buy a full version and uh, how many licenses you need for your home or your office. And this is the very basic protection one can have in order to protect their business or home computers. Thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day.